Uh, we are out here with uh, Underground Bowling Association. Uh, we're doing a survival of the fittest. The format of this is low man every game, gets an X, two X's, and you're out. Uh, I'm Ryan Boroff, here with Stephen Keblish. Nice to meet everybody. Uh, so a little more information about this. Uh, it's going to be, uh, handicap's going to be 70% of 240. Uh, these four guys are all on the same team in Underground Bowling Association. So if you're not familiar with Underground Bowling Association, uh, Storm is their official sponsor. They were started yes, they in are. 2009 in New York with uh, 16 guys. They now have over 10,000 bowlers, 360 franchises. Uh, they have teams up to 30 people depending on the events and they hold 400 events nationwide per year. So check it out on uh, undergroundbowling.com. Um, the team here today is FAA. Hold on. <laughs> A F A A F O. So, if you're not familiar with that acronym, it's F around and find out. Exactly. We're about to. to we had a little about five minute break after practice, and you can tell a couple guys are already a little bit tightened. They'll loosen back up, get relined up. Yeah, guys are warmed up. They've already started, so let's let's do a little intro with our guys here. Uh, right now in the lanes, you'll see uh, Hitman, Bobby the Hitman. Yeah, he, uh, he got his nickname because when he's bowling head to head, he's like a hitman. Yeah, he just murders people. <laughs> and you don't want to you don't want him hitting you. I'm just saying. Huh? You don't want him hitting you either. No, you don't want him hitting you. Big guy. Uh, up on the lanes right now, you got Snoop Dogg. Yeah. He, he says, use your imagination when, when I asked him about his nickname. Uh, there are a few different reasons he goes by Snoop Dogg. Uh, we'll let, we'll let y'all uh, use your imaginations on that. <laughs> uh, oh, quick. With and Byron right back and on it. That was powerful. That was powerful. So Quick says his nickname comes from Eddie Murphy and Harlem Knights. He was given that nickname when he was 12. Uh, I'm not familiar with the reference. Do you know the reference? I do. You do? So Young what, man, what uh, Eddie Murphy played this little fella, and dude kind of got in his face, and he shot him. <laughs> well, <laughs> hopefully we won't see any <laughs> of that They said today. he had a really quick temper. <laughs> <laughs> Great Surely movie, by the way. Surely we won't see him play up <laughs> today. Uh, well, not to their own teammates. You surely know. not. Surely not. To you, maybe. 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 <laughs> so we've got a uh, uh, Jacob, the albino pocket pounder, on the lanes there on the left, uh, with a seven count. Looked like it came in a little light. Yeah, we probably should not use our imagination for that one. No. Okay. No, I, I, I don't think yeah, we, we should. We, uh, we may want to get details I, on that. I, I did not get a whole lot of information about that nickname. Uh, I'm assuming it's because he hits the 1-3 a lot. I mean, that's got to be it. That's got to be it, right? We're hoping. <laughs> We're hoping. <laughs> we are hoping. <laughs> so, uh, these guys are, are bowling head-to-head. Uh, -head. Uh, they've each put up $50 a man. It's a winner-take-all. They will also get a, uh, a, a bowling ball of their choice. bowling ball of their choice. I, I, I hear they have the best product, Storm does. What's I'm that? here and I may need to try this. I need equipment. <laughs> I'm going to have to get into one of these matches eventually. Ooh, Bobby answers back with a strike. So again, if you're, if you're just tuning in, they will bowl every game. The low man will get an X. And if you get two X's, you are out. By the way, for all the fans out there watching, that is the 2016 Alpha Crooks. I believe that's made by Storm as well. Actually, yes. Yes. Man. Smells pretty good. Official sponsor. <laughs> so the FAAFO team is actually uh, the franchise owner is Tony Brown out of Grand Prairie, Texas. They're officially out, out of, of four bowling bowl. Bowl. Yeah. Hopefully we get to do a broadcast out of forum too. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Quick with the easy spare. Let's see how we're stacking up so far. It's a 
close match. Uh, the, the averages, just so uh, everybody's aware, uh, so Snoop has a 182 average. He will get 41 pins a game. Bobby has a 219 average. He'll get 15 pins a game. Myron with a 215 average will get 18 pins a game, and Jacob with a 211 average will get 20 pins a game. So just for folks at home to know, uh, this pair characteristically breaks down squirrely. The right lane usually hooks quite a bit more than the left. As we saw in that last spare, it just took off. But it, it is close to the wall. That tend to happen. Ooh. Hey, Hitman's Ooh, he, been on a tear the last few months. <laughs> He's just killing it this year. He came to bowl. This is his home house, too. I don't think that yeah. hurts anything. I don't think that hurts anything. He's coming here with uh, a lot of confidence. I believe Myron's the only one doesn't bowl here full time, isn't he? Or Snoop? I'm not sure. Ooh, good, good answer back after that. After that miss, was that a four pin? Yeah, well, the pick himself right back up right there. Yeah. That's that right lane. That's that extra hook you're talking about. This is only game one. It is only game one. We might we might see some loft and gutters here pretty soon. That, that will be fun to see. I don't think a lot of these guys uh, do a lot of over the cap bowling. Oh yes, with the lefty. He gets no style points, so we don't we don't count that. We don't no. give style no. points for that. Oh, man. I have to sign out and everything. We should make us some style point in a little sun. Ten, nine, rate them. <laughs> rate them and berate them. Gotcha. <laughs> Looks like Bobby's jumped out to an early lead here. That's what they open to start with. It's a lot easier to criticize their bowling, too, when you're not bowling. Oh, it's so much easier. Yeah. So much easier. That left lane is going to be tough today. Right lane. That's the right lane. You're right. right. Lane. Man, it's going, to, it's going to be a fun night. <laughs> I, I need to ball in that lane. I actually get my ball to hook. <laughs> you, you do. You do. <laughs> <laughs> you probably strike every time on that. I throw a little back up and it's gonna hook. Sure enough. You can, you can definitely see there's a little bit of nerves going on too. This is their first time doing this. It's the first broadcast out of Texas, at least out of the DFW area. I we'll see if that lane starts striking. And first time for this format, I believe, too. Yes, the it same is. teams are bowling head to head. It is. Kind of a warm up for us. Yes. You'll see, you'll see most of the guys have their uh, UBA jerseys. Um, <laughs> Jacob has just recently signed, so he hasn't gotten his jersey yet. I like those jerseys. I need one. They are pretty nice. What, what do you think your nickname would be if you had one? I don't one? know. No? Perfection? No. Perfection? No. 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 Probably not. Just because the ladies call you that doesn't mean it's going to go on the back <laughs> of the jersey, right? Only the waitresses do. Looking for tips. I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's much, a good shot. much better. Snoop answers back. He, he's got so much bling, I'm having a hard time looking at him. It's just shining right in my eyes. Oh, yeah, man. You gotta keep going. And again, <laughs> lane 16 just picked up, and the middle lane took off. Oh, if I put so much bling on the pins, they could just disappear. <laughs>
Hitman up on the right lane. See if he can control that. Little more ball speed than everybody else. Oh, and still hook. Ooh. Solid nine ten. So, yeah. For, for a lot of people, you watch the ball go through the pins like that, and you think, man, that should have struck. What, why, why do they leave the nine ten like that? Again, that that lane's just hooking. It's picking up and driving through the pocket. He really needs to move left a little bit more, get the ball, either come up the back, straighten it out a little bit, or just get left and let it face the pocket straight, a little bit straighter through there. Such a, such a close thing, right? It is. And Fine frustrating. Line between strike and nine. And frustrating. <laughs> that rhymes. I feel like I should be a rap star. You think I should be a rap star? God, I hope not. Uh, me too. I think that's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Good shot. That's, that's that pocket pounding we've heard so much about. Yeah. Everybody seems to be really locked in on the left lane. The right lane is going to decide this. That yeah. just. It's like he made a little adjustment just trying to throw it harder, took his hand out a little bit, never really picked up. Plays them tighter angles. He, he, yeah. He's probably the straightest player we've got out of the field today. Yeah, he likes to keep everything really direct. Yeah, I, I think Hitman's name may come from what he does at the bottom of the swing. Ooh, too. It might be. He seems to nail on it quite a bit. <laughs> well, something hit the four. I don't know really what it was. But. You know, I. I do, do, do the mechanics knock those over for you, Hitman? Hey, I got I got people hidden in all types of places. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's his turn. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Snoop Dogg on the right lane. Let's see if he can get that face the pocket a little bit better this time. Looks a little better. Will it lay off too much? Either hooks too much or not enough. Huh? Yeah, he he moved in a little bit. And it looks like he tried to help it right at the end, kind of just raised up. You pull your hand out a little bit when you do that. And that's one of the differences from the averages. When you look at somebody that's around 180, to so somebody 20210, they're trying to help. They pull up out of it. Much better Good on that cover. release. Good cover. Let's see. So quick, you managed to get more than nine that time. What did you do different? Let's take Ball a look. Change. Gotta got give you guys a scoring update a little, update a little bit. Okay. See who uh, who's leading. Who's uh. Kind of trying to run away. Yeah, I think uh, I think Bobby's uh, uh, got a commanding lead here. Yeah, Bobby's sitting at 118 with a strike in the sixth. And he's got about a 15 pin lead, roughly. Although Snoop Dogg does not have his handicap added in, right? That's true. Handicap is not added in, so we will be adding those in uh, so that, at that the end of the game. Really tightens up that match. Oh, a lot better shot. Ooh, much, that's much a good better. Shot. Much better. Stayed down, didn't raise up, just let it go. Great shot. Woo! Well, that lane is just on fire. <laughs> and I, I guarantee a couple of them. Four games. Yeah, a couple of them, I guarantee they feel like they're tugging that shot. It's just picking up around the arrows. It's just kind of grabbing. I don't know if it's just me. I think I probably would have gone for the two on the left. They were, looks like that four pin separated a little. Might have yeah, shot might at have it. Might have a little better bounce out of it. Mm -hmm. And I split enough to know to try for those, I'm saying. <laughs> right. Looks like Hitman's going to do a ball change next. Oh, great oh, shot yeah. right there. Good shot. 
answers back. You see that right lane, it jumps on him in the left lane. It's almost laying off down lane. That ball almost backed up to the pocket. I, I agree. That, that right lane is going to decide the match. <laughs> Let's see if Quick's yeah. ball change uh, works for him on the right lane here. Yeah, uh, he got through that much oh, yes. better. Try to take his hand out of the last one. The ball change is a better choice. Yep. Great zero. Shot. I know Bobby put a second <laughs> ball up there. Did he change or did he switch back to the left lane? See, left lane is locked in. Yeah, he changed. This, this is definitely not, you might consider two different balls. If you're trying to play the same zone, you need one that doesn't hook and one that does. Yeah, yeah, if you're trying to stay in the same zone, it's gonna get. Right. Do you prefer playing the lanes with two different angles or do you prefer having two different balls? So me personally, I, I typically stick with one ball. And unless I'm on something really, really difficult, I almost always stick with the same ball and just pick different lines. I can, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much the same way. <laughs> easy, that could be why we're not to, on tour too, I mean, you know. That's very true, that's very true. It's easier for me though to move my feet a little bit and keep the same release right. than it is to, uh, and to try to, to switch balls and then change releases on each lane, right? I'm just getting old. I have to try to remember where I'm standing on two different lanes. That's nightmarish. <laughs> Do you mark it up there with a pencil on the approach? No, because somebody's got to race that. I don't oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been there. I don't want to do that. Yeah, you're, you're nicer than me. I, I'll, if I get too far left of the dots, i got to mark it with a pencil. <laughs> and I have gone up there going, crap, I can't remember where I'm standing. <laughs> oh, couldn't catch a break right there. Hmm. The left side, I heard that. It still hooks, but it seems like it hooks and stops on yeah, the left 15. over there. I talked to a left-hander earlier. He said he on the get down that right lane, the right side just takes off. Left lane, it'll hook and just stop. It doesn't really take off for him. Do, do, do you think that has something to do with the oil pattern or the topography? I think it's the topography and probably a variation of insulation. You're being that close to the wall, you never know exactly what the weather's going to do. Yeah. And it's been raining a lot too, so the humidity is going to play into this today. Much, much better Ooh, shot on the like lane. that one. Because he's starting to get locked in now. Yep. We may see some high scores coming on the next couple of games. I wonder if we can get that handicap added in up there. Let's see if we can find somebody to do that for us. We're trying to find an expert with the computer system that might be able to do that for us. We had to call in some uh, reinforcements. Ryan, you want to run down the scores real quick on where we are? And we're in the ninth frame for everybody. All right, so, yes, yeah, so for, with Jacob, he has got 134 in the seventh, and he's got a double. Uh, Bobby has got 142 in the eighth with a strike in the ninth. Uh, Myron is open in the ninth frame with 163 in the ninth. And that really ties it up with his handicap. It's, it really does, which, yeah. I, which I believe was 41, if I'm correct. Yeah. So we're working on getting that handicap added in. That way, uh, that way, some of this won't give be a mystery to, till yeah, the end. Yeah, get a little up to date. <laughs> yes. Oh, great break right Ooh. there. Nice. Myron's starting to really relax through the ball now. He's mixing them up a little bit, you know? Yeah, the more relaxed you are, you're going to get that carry. When you start tightening up, things just don't fall. Start leaving single yeah. fans. Yeah, 
And again, oh, got a little that left lane. That like I said, it looks like his ball was backing up a while ago, and he got that a little further, and it just wants to skid. The other lane, that's high flush. Typically, you see oil burn up and the lane's breaking down, but it does seem to be getting tighter down lane on the, on the, on the yeah. left lane. Uh, really good finish right there by Meyer. Quick is coming at the finish. Uh, we're getting him added in. Uh, uh, Hitman. It looks like we got that added in now. Give you guys some better up to date scores. Yeah. Uh, now, now we can see finish. what the actual totals are there. Looks like quick finish 193, 213 after the handicap. Yeah, I think quick at 211 after uh, the 211, handicap. 211, yeah. Look at their own side. Uh, Jacob, Jacob ended up with 222. I'm curious what computer system they're using. I'm, I'm not familiar with these. I'm not either. It's a little bit different look. I bowled here a few times, but I don't pay attention. <laughs> that was a great shot there by Hitman. So I think he went back. Is that the red ball he threw? Yeah, he went, went back to the original on the left lane. As we go along, we'll try to find out exactly what these guys are throwing and let you know. Oh, quick. Nice finish. What ball did you end up throwing there at the end? That was the Blizzard Zero by Swag. Blizzard Zero by Swag. Struck out in the 10th there. Uh, close match. He, he saved himself Ooh. from getting an X for sure. That was a great shot there, hit man. Just that a really a bad break. Really split. bad. That left lane, it just don't want to. It wants to in. just, just not quite bite. Hey, between you and me, though, I'll give him a dollar if he spares it. I would do. Oh, he's two dollars on this shot, right? There. Two dollars, the dollar pin. If he makes it, don't anybody at home tell him. I'm just... That's right. And hey, we're safe. Safe. All right, cool. All right. Safe. Save two dollars. It's like him and finish with a 191. I'm pretty sure he doesn't get any handicap. Or does he? No, no he, he gets, gets a few. 15. He gets 15. So he ended up at 206. Oh, that's right. They're off 240. Yeah, 70% of 240. That's an interesting handicap. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen very much uh, based uh -oh, on good. handicap. That's, that's a good shot right there by Snoop. Oh, struck at the end there. Gets an X by two sticks. Check that out, Bobby's. Uh, hit man. Oh, yeah, we got to change your score. The 05 to 04. They have to correct the score at the counter, so we can't do that right here. But yeah, it looks like they're going to. Should have been a strike 8 1 instead of 9 spare. Looks like either, either way, Trey's going to get the X. Okay, hold on. I don't, I don't know if we're changing. Yeah. Because that on, will matter. We're in the middle of getting that score changed matter. so we can decide. Yeah, that's going to matter for that $50 you yeah. know, side. Let's we'll take a look at that and see how we're going to do. So uh, uh, we got to check with the uh, coordinator here. So if. If two people tie and they're the low, do they both get X's? Okay, we 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 are we are finding out from the rule books who gets the X or if oh, they both get a low X. game. Because we did end up with a tie for the low set, so we're on pins and needles here. Or, or do we just give them a half a strike like a spare? <laughs> maybe maybe we give them both spares instead of X's. We can, we can run up the line here for the center, maybe. Uh, we're, we're, we're checking it out. 
We could run. We could run the line of effort thinner and just give them a spare. You know, a half a strike. <laughs> Deep drama, first game. <laughs> yeah, when 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 it's the first time you've had, had this type of format, and, and you you come up with this kind of thing right out right off the bat, and then how it always works. Two frame roll off. All right, we're gonna have a two frame roll off to see who gets the X. I'd say with the growth of this format, with the you know the organization of UBA. They need to look into TV and reality shows. <laughs> They've done it for golf. They've done it for, you know, ridiculous stuff. Bowling would be fun to watch. I'd love to see a reality show. Put them everybody in the same center for a week or two and oh. do some elimination, see what happens. Could, you get could to be see some wild. behind the scenes stuff with, you know, what they're doing with equipment, layouts, ball surfing, yeah. attitudes that I hear about. I, no, I, no attitudes here. I, I mean, not here, but, but you do hear occasionally of bowlers having attitudes every once in a while. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, I rarely see bowlers get upset about their bowling. No, you know, never, that, never, that, ever. That hardly ever happens. I saw an experiment one time, somebody trying to find out if the ball dribbles like a basketball. I, I'm sure that's scientific only. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why not the first and second? We had a two frame roll off. Why don't we use the first and second? That would be good. Interesting thought. Yeah, that, it, that is an interesting thought. Yeah. We, we'll have to see how that plays out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to ninth and tenth so frame roll-off. So ninth and tenth roll-off, it should just be the ninth and tenth that counts here. Correct. Uh, oh, Trey with the strike That'll to be start honest, what off. they did, they erased the ninth and tenth and let them do it again because their scores were identical going in. But we're going to just go by the ninth and tenth only. A great Ooh, shot by him right there. Great shot. So now I got to ask another question. So uh -huh. ninth and tenth scratch, or how do you? Uh... Uh, that's a good question. I want to find that one out. Uh, so, so we're we're doing a ninth and tenth roll off. Is that a scratch? Ninth and tenth roll off, or do we just remove those frames, have them bowl it over, and then whatever the sticks say, the sticks say. Him man, I think is really starting to. We we did get have the handicap overall, even though. Tied to low score at the moment. I don't think it's going to remain there very long. Oh, great, oh, yeah. great so shot! I believe, I believe we're just going to roll the ninth Enormous and tenth, break and right then there. whatever First the score the says, that's who's going to get the X. The low score is going to get the X. Yeah. yeah. So I think, I think uh, uh, we remove the ninth and tenth. They re-bowl the ninth and tenth, and then whatever the score says, low man gets the X. That's, uh, that's how we're going to go with it. Right. That, that, that rule that, and that format may evolve as, a, as the uh, that's as interesting. They do more of these. Yeah, that is interesting considering, the, you know, the 134 on one and 142 on the other. Right. But, so we're going by the total game. Total Three game. Three ninth and tenth only. Interesting. Ooh, these guys yeah, got serious here. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful shot right there. They're starting to get We're, we're getting reports of them icing the kicker. Uh, so uh, Jacob and Myron are getting iced right now. So it's an interesting strategy, Bob. See, and there's, there's a different meaning as a you know a senior. We hear that. We look over and see somebody with ice on their arm or their knee or something. Yeah, that's true. Usually icy hots getting rubbed into a shoulder yeah. or a hip or something. I've even seen them with the massage guns working out the oh, legs. Oh yeah. You know. I've only seen it. I'm not really going to comment any further than that. Well, you know, you're, you're what, like 25 now? I'm... Whoa, that took off. That's going to... That six count could hurt really bad, looks like. Would he end up? 20, ooh, 13. 13. Yeah, yeah. I, think, uh, I think Bobby's going to end up with the X on this one. Yep. So, so. The reason I did it that way is so when we were talking about it, yeah, it was a, is it ninth and tenth scratch, even though the averages are 30 pins different? So I think what they decided was it was just going to be ninth and tenth and whatever the score shows. Oh, oh, hopefully we don't have any more ties. 
All right, so, so like, unfortunately, Bobby gets the X this time. I have a feeling Hitman may not get another strike for a while. He looked pretty locked in. Yeah, he to does that look last pretty shot. locked in. Looks like he's making another ball change. I'm not sure I would do that personally. I was just telling yeah, Ryan Hitman, I don't, you look like you're starting to get locked in. I don't think you're going to have a strike anytime soon again. It, it may be a while. Uh, you made a ball change in the middle Snoop of the game to, a double right there, from the red to, ball to, to the blue. What, what were you throwing? Yeah, what would you go really to? Needed it. So oh, I needed it. I had that kick, kick, kick that really last throw. Really what is it? Spot. Four pin over. I needed um, that so bad. Something that would blame the lane a little bit more. And that's a, <laughs> what ball are you throwing? Columbia 300 the speed. Zen U, the Zen U, your thing. Okay. Zen U, your thing. That's a, that's a 900 global ball. It looks like you might be going to a Tour Envy now. He went to a speed in the middle. Hitman. He went from the Alpha Crux to the... Kind of get to blend a little bit. I think he might have went to an NB tour. I saw him put up there on the rack. Good. Uh, the icing did not affect quick. Not at all. Yeah, he got loose and quick. He got loose. Wow. That looked like a good reaction right there. But six pin. Small adjustment. I think he's going to be fine with that. We need to get a hold of Brett Cooper, the regional regional uh, sales rep for Storm, and see if he can comment on what he thinks some of the ball changes they should be making. That might be kind of cool. That would be cool. You think he's up at this hour? I don't know. He's getting old, too. <laughs> he is getting old. I'm pretty sure a Hitman would like to have seen that seven count earlier. Yes, uh, I, I, think, I think right he would there. have preferred that to happen. Uh, yeah. uh, maybe that first shot in the 10th. It's kind of interesting, though. I, overall, I would I would say Bobby's probably one of the you know top players right now. And for him to get the strike early, that could make the night go a little bit longer. Okay. It really it definitely could. Attitude-wise, he's not going to like that, and I don't think he's going to let another one happen anytime soon. Quick, on the other hand, I don't know if he might miss quick, for like, quick, you know. Quick is turning up the dial here, yeah. What he, time's he, the center close? He may not miss till then. He may not. Huh? He may not. He's pretty locked in. And if you're looking at him, he looks Ooh, really, really five. serious right now. Yeah, he's tucking that bottom lip under. He's, yeah, he's yeah. really yeah, thinking. He's, he's ready. <laughs> thinking a quick way to get rid of him. I think a quick way to get rid of us, probably, too. <laughs> so those those that are just tuning in, we are, we are at an underground bowling association event at Shenanigans in Greenville. Uh, we've got uh, four gentlemen from the same team, the FAAFO, which is the F Around and Find Out team. Right. Fun, bowling. fun Around, I believe that, what fun, that is. is. Fun, fun Around? around? I think might, maybe fun, fun Around, around. and Find Out. Yeah. <laughs> so they're bowling for $50 a man. Uh, and a storm bowling ball. Uh, yep, the overall man. winner gets the storm bowling ball of their choice. Of their mm -hmm. choice. And low man each game will get an X, two X's, and you're out. All right, Hitman covered that spare, no problem. He's still figuring out that ball change, I yeah. think. I think he's probably still steaming from the 10th. Uh, Could be. That, that uh, last shot. That was, that was a tough... Uh, a tough roll off that he had there. He'll take a dip, deep breath or two and get right back on, I'm pretty sure. Oh, pretty good shot. Pretty good shot. I tell you, if he gets the ball to face up on that left lane, he's going to be tough to beat. I agree. I, I, agree. I just think he's kind of spinning a little bit more and thinking it's going to hook. But if he just stay behind it, it'll probably pick up and be fine. I, I, my, my experience with him, he gets a little excited sometimes. He's an excitable guy. And another great shot. Yeah, you know, quick, quick set at best, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. I figured out a way to quickly dismiss everybody. Quickly dismiss everybody. Especially us. Yes. 
But I believe Quick has a heart condition, and that's why he's trying to get rid of everybody. It's quicker for the ticker. You think so? I think so. Yeah, it could be. Heart condition. Yeah, you got to work for that ticker, man. You got quicker for the ticker. So Keatlish is also trying his uh, rhyme game here. I told, really him, though, well. I told him I'd say nice things about if he'd cover my tab, but I, 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 I oh, it's on then. <laughs> Trash <laughs> talking to come. There, we good. <laughs> Anybody curious, though, bowled against him last night. We won't go there now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Did you see that? <laughs> and I ain't got $50. <laughs> Man, Hitman hit the pocket really well. Not the outcome you yeah, want to look for. I, I, I think you hit the nail on the head when you, you uh, said that you probably wouldn't I, have changed balls. Yeah, I think I would have stayed. Right. I think maybe he needs to go back to speed, let the ball blend a little bit. Yep. So, do you, do you think the Zen Yu will, will play, uh, play some tricks down lane for some of the guys? I think if Bobby threw it, if Hitman threw that on that left lane, he's going to create a little bit of carry down. These guys that don't really have the hand are not going to come out of it. Gotcha. That's a defensive play. He's already got a strike. I don't know if I'd consider being down one. If you're ahead of the game, then maybe play a little defense. But I would just focus on making good shots. But I would really think he should probably go back to the ball that ball just blended again. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. A little bit early to go to that envy. Hey, it looks like he's going to. Look at that. Locked Wait. in. I'm pretty sure we're not going to have him a strike this game. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's going to get an X no. this game. Other than the strikes on the screen. A lot right. of Xs. Yeah. Man. All right, I, so now, so now right, he's in between. He's just right pulled now, back up. Seeing, seeing, Bob, yeah. seeing Bobby's reaction right now. Hey, man, he's just... It's hooking so much. He's got so much. I think he needs to be like a good eight, nine boards left. Slow it down and let, and let that ball shape. <laughs> let, it, let it turn over. Get my beer in your tail. I'm working here. I know. You're us. <laughs> oh, we got that one a little outside. A little outside. We're, we're, we're having some discussion on who's, whose beer is going doing, on what You're not going right to do now. the Bob Euchre right there? Uh, just, just a bit, a bit outside. outside. <laughs> Try at the corner and miss. You, you set me up for that, and I just I just let it linger, didn't I? Oh, oh, I, I. Looks like there, he's got a, a regular Zen in his hand right now. Do you think? Do you think he's going to go uh, backup ball at this, or do you think he's going to go? Uh, well, he's been pretty consistent backup when he send, pins on the right. That's pretty true. And that looks like, I think he opens both feet on the strike. When he throws a backup, it looks like he twists up a little bit. There it is. Yeah, it was pretty close. That was pretty close. Pretty close. He does not use his thumb, does he? He's just two finger, so. one handed, right? I think so. No. So, so Snoop? On, on, on your release, your two finger? Yeah, two finger. No thumb. No thumb. Two finger, no thumb. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm too old for that. Yeah. I, I don't know that I've got the strength in my forearm to do that. Yeah, I used to be a backup pitcher in high school. Okay. Huh. Nice. I did not know that. I, is, is there a big, you think there's a big transition between pitching and bowling? Overhand, underhand, huh? True. Man, John Burkett does it pretty well. Yeah, that's debatable. Yeah, You're, if, in case he's listening, I didn't say that. That was. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll make sure he gets forward in the oh, audio. Good shot. This. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> At least the clip. That's right. <laughs> oh, the pocket pounder. Pounding pockets. Dollar game for Nationals, John. Calling you out, man. Ah, quick with a spare. What was that that he left? Did you see that? Nine pins. Nine Stone pin. nine. Ooh. Nine right, pins. Good shot. How about that heart? That would have. Ah. <laughs> Can't blame him on something. Get you a nitro oh. pill, man. Well, Hitman's fishing right it now. It looks like he bit. just threw that envy again, didn't he? Was yep, that silver? Yep. He threw yeah. that silver one. I, he really needs to stick to the speed for a couple games. Let it blend. Let it slow down. Yeah. His rev rate's so high. If he if he goes something a little too hard, 
He's going to get some over and under. Yeah, I really think so. So uh, Snoop there is throwing that Zen U, you know, and, and the Zen U is a, uh, it's, a, it's like a reactive thing, right? It's kind of urethane, or yeah. is it 100% urethane? I think it may be urethane. Yeah, so I, I think that's going to play, at, play a little bit down the lane. I think it's going to bring a little carry down down there and make it a little tougher to get the, get the ball to roll in. I think Bobby's uh, hitman is uh, facing a little bit of that right now. So Snoop answers back, gets the spare. Quick's up there now after the nine pin on the right lane. Let's see what he does on the left. Almost bird dog to 10. Tap the 10, just wiggled it though. Not enough to knock it down. Wondering if that carry down is getting to everybody. Yeah, that ball made a turn. It, butt cheeks tighten up like you was bird dogging. <laughs> you, you know. Wait, that's wrong bird dog. Never mind, never mind. I, I, think, I think that's a prairie dog. I think they call that a prairie dog. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> Jacob got that left lane to hook a little bit. Four, seven, ten. Uh, and that came out of the gutter, so that will not count for anybody interested. We'll have to get someone to change that score since we can't do it here. Change it? Yep. Got a score correction in progress. Can we get him in? Good shot at it. So, I'm going to run through the scoring update real quick in the sixth. Oh, quick oh. is at 155 with the handicap. Quick is at 155. The pocket pounder, Jacob, is 142. Mm -hmm. After that open, that was harsh open. Snoop with the strike. That's going to run him up to 131. 131. And Bobby is a... Uh, Back to the speed. Much uh, better shot. Much better reaction. There All you right. go. Good shot. Good shot. Match is fairly tight. Bobby just, I think Bobby found something here. Maybe he can, uh, he can close the gap here a little bit. Yeah, that was that was just a early ball change. Turned around on it. Yeah. You think he knew he I, left a 10 pin? I think he knew he missed it at the bottom. I it just you. didn't quite get through it. Yeah. yeah, there it is. That is the motion for missing it at the bottom, yeah? The hand flutter. Either that or he wants Paul. I mean, that's space balls, right? Give me Paul. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that was the miss. It actually turned out pretty good considering. Yes. <laughs> on that lane. That was a good spare. Nice cover. Let's see if Quick get back on it. He, after missing that 10 pin. He's not in really he danger. Goes, what, nine pin, ten pin? The, yeah, nine pin, ten pin, and miss a ten. I doubt he's in danger right now, but better shot. Much better. You got a lot, of, a lot of the bowlers that are simplified game like that. You can see it off their hand immediately. Is it going to be good or not? So after your nine pin on the right lane there, what move did you make to, to carry that time? Yeah, moved up three inches. Back to moved up three inches. All speed right. and blended well, that ball out. Much, much better shot. It was a good double right there. He, he needs to get off the sheet, yeah. put some pressure on everybody. Mm -hmm. hit me. He needs to get off the sheet, really put some pressure on, start stringing strikes. Yeah, I think, I think, I think he's, he uh, might. I think he's got the right ball in his hand yeah. now. Uh, quick was just staying, saying it's starting Ooh. to check up in the back a little bit. Snoop with a stone eight. That's, that's a tough leave. 
much like the nine pin, though. Just a little sharp, right? Just a bit, yeah. yeah. A little move left, something to get it a little further down the lane or get that pin out of there. Uh oh. He grabbed that, that one a little bit. Got yeah. Little and bit. got the big and break. Got away with it. Big break. He, in, in fashion, <laughs> he got off the approach quick. He did. <laughs> He <laughs> did get off the approach real quick after that one. <laughs> now we know why I come quick, throw a bad shot, get off the approach. Nobody saw it. <laughs> See, truth comes out. We know. <laughs> so, Bobby, we like the ball change. I got to go something a little softer. Everything else is either too strong in the mids or not picking up in the, in the middle of the lane towards the back of the lane. I, I really saw <laughs> Snoop up on the a left bad lane ball here. reaction, and I picked yeah. up something Turn that in. I don't really much, throw. Much, much, much better uh, shot. Slowed it down, let the ball work. Hopefully, I can get myself out of the hole, but we'll see. All right. Both them last two shots look good. Keep doing your thing. Oh, great Ooh, shot Jacob right there. That one off with the seven pin trip. I think you like that one quite a bit. If I ever struck again, I might slap one off. I thought about that. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you think it'll ever happen? No. 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 We, we, can, we can dream, right? <laughs> it might oh, yeah. happen again when I switch back to left-handed. No. Maybe. Maybe. I hear lefties strike more anyway. I don't know about that, but I do know that I talk a lot more trash left-handed than I do right. <laughs> That, that's got to count for something. Yeah. I, and honestly, I think it's because I really shouldn't back it up, but if I do, look out. <laughs> I, I beat you left-handed, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad statement. It's fun. That's right. Especially when you beat a left-hander. I, I do not average very high left-handed. I, I throw it about 10 miles an hour. I think that's part of the problem. Quick Good up shot. Back. Damn. Ooh. I think everyone's honestly just a little firm. The ball really never faced the pocket. It just skidded through. Well, it's last 10 pin. He got a little wide. I don't so, know. I've thrown the ball that hard in like four years. 17-9. That, that is pretty firm. I, I feel oh. like I would throw out my hip. Uh, uh, yeah. Well. So. And, and you're only like 28. I mean. I know. <laughs> you, you'd think I'd be built a little more solid than that at 28, right? <laughs> he spared that one. Spared the 10 pin that time. He kind of strutted back off the lane. It looked yeah. like he strutted that time instead of walking back. Well, I'm back pretty quick. sure he knows he's not getting to strike this game, so. All right. He's got a little pressure on him for the game yeah. overall, but he, he's, he's in relaxing. good shape. And speaking of scores, he is in the ninth with a 214. Eighth frame for uh, Bobby's 142 with a, a double. Three bagger going actually. Ouch. Again, right. that left lane. That left lane. He just yeah. he really needs to slow it down or get behind it a little bit more and it'll shape up. Yeah. 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 Get it through the spot a little bit. It just doesn't yeah. want to shape at all. Got to get that one rolling on the left lane. Snoop has a struck on the right lane in a, in a couple of frames here. Let's see how he does this yeah. one. And Snoop is at 171 and the eighth was a strike and doubles. All right, big shot. That's going to leave Hitman with a little bit of work to do. He really needs a shot. And this bear is huge. Covered it. Nice cover. that's, not a, that's not a gimme either. No. That, that six count is not a gimme for the spare. He's looking at a 192 in the ninth with a spare. So that, that's going to keep him right there in the game. This is the shot of the match as far as the strikes right here. Hit this one and close the gap a little bit. Make this make yeah, this a match here. This will be a whole different ball game in the tent. And oh, he yeah. rolls. Her dog's a ten. Gotta like that. Hey, he shows a lot of restraint right there. I surely would have slapped that one off. Yeah. Well, as strong as he is, he has to. He might break his hand. That's true. That's true. Yeah. And just just the thunder off of that clap could have broke something. You never know. Yeah. I mean, right. there's glass around here. You know. Yeah. yeah. Might have to get you another drink. Put it on. Quick stab. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we need to get him to make one. <laughs> All right, so in the ninth. 
That match is tight right now. Top of the 10. Oh, Ooh. that's a beautiful shot right there. Great shot. Great shot. Pocket pounder. We are within 15 pins from last to first going into the 10th. For anybody not seeing the scores. Anybody mess with me find out if we can, they can see it on the screen or not, I doubt it. I, I believe this camera that's pointing up is showing the scores. Oh, nice. Uh, I, I'm, I'm hoping I didn't see that over there. See that. Great shot. Quick. He slid. He's not getting a strike. The, can he get the extra, you know, cash in the pocket to open a tab for me? That, that's the question right there. Yes, that is the question. Yeah. Is he getting your next drink? Drink? I just said he opened a tab. We'll get a pizza over here. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the way you think. Yeah, don't let him say, hey, it's all right, so what do you want? <laughs> Jacob with another X. Determined. For any, any young boys out there that, you know, inching their way into uh, competition bowling, match play and stuff, it be very careful, careful what you say verbally, make sure it's specific because, you know. <laughs> You know, the old, I bet you don't shoot 200, and you got 220 in the bag. Yeah. 200 on the nose is what they're talking about. <laughs> Specifics are important, you know. Yeah. yeah. People are very careful with their words. With well, that last shot, I believe he locked up the game. So, oh, yeah. the five. Big finish. Big finish by the pocket pounder. Quick locked up this game right, with, that, with that last strike. So he's good to go. Yeah, he's good to go. He's coasting into next game with no X's. And no X's and some cash in the pocket. Dialed in, that's what that's called. Answer that was a great that's, ball change. That's quick. Is that per game or is that overall? So you struck out there for 236, coasting in the next game. Yeah. All right. So the, the we've got some the $50 a man. Is that for the totals or is that per game? I don't even know myself. You don't even know himself. He, he says I'm just going to strike and collect the money at the end. He's like, here's my money. <laughs> I'm taking yours. Do you want to do it overall or what? That's right. We'll get a quick exodus out of everybody. And he'll be the last man standing. Oh, pretty good shot. Pretty good shot. So this this game is tightened right up here. I think I think Bobby throws this next one. Yeah, He's that was safe. the one in the ninth was huge. Getting back to the ball, he needed to throw, and horrible break. Oh. Is a must spare for Snoop to not get the strike. Yep. He gets the spare. I'm not sure that's enough. No, I don't think it is. Yeah, I uh, think it's over. Hey, <laughs> man, 33. Bobby rides it on home. Saves himself from <laughs> saves himself from elimination there with that big, <laughs> with a big finish. The hey, uh, man, striking from the bench. Saved. Save. It's 234. Snoop's going to get his first strike with a 230. 228 over. That's borderline painful. That is painful. Want to run over the totals real quick before they start the next one? Yeah, so Myron ended up at 254. Uh, quick. Jacob got a 232. Trey with the 228. And Bobby the Hitman with the 234. So we've currently got Trey with one X, Bobby with one X, Myron and Jacob, zero X's. All right, guys, we are, we are jumping back in here at Shenanigans in Greenville at the Underground Bowling Association Survival of the Fittest. 
Hey, I did uh, catch him in in the office a while ago. Yeah. Bathroom. Uh, that was not the speed he went back to. He went to the eruption pearl. Ah. I was like, that kind of makes a little sense seeing the bite down lane. We're thinking it was smoothing out, but it's still picking up. That, that's like why. It worked out really well for him. Yeah. He said he, he, he thought the other one didn't have enough surface, and it was kind of on his. He said his words, it's kind of puking on him down lane a little bit once he hits, the, hits that drive lens. He said, if I had a little more surface, I would just move left and wheel. Nice. So, and senior moment for the young people. Yes, so so they did not realize that the break would yeah. uh, affect them like this. We had a pretty good idea at mine. So, uh, see, as a senior, in, as oh. a senior though, when you come off a break or a long, I'd never know. Am I gonna like throw it dead slow and still hit it, or am I gonna miss it totally and I need to move right? I, I almost, I almost feel like I have to stretch if I take a five or ten minute break. I stretch without the break. Are you kidding? <laughs> So we have got we have got Hitman Bobby up on the lane right now. Uh, related, related to a decent bullet too, but we're not going to talk names today. I, oh. I have heard that that he was related to a, a guy that bowls a little bit. Yeah, yeah. A short guy. Short Pretty guy. good though. Yeah. yeah, he's not bad. He's not bad at all. We've also got Snoop Dogg up there. That short uh, guy has more hair than uh, Hitman does. That's true. But you know, so do you. quite a bit. <laughs> so, 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 it man and Snoop Dogg, the two guys on the lane right now, are the two. Uh, they each have a single X. So if you're not, uh, if you're just tuning in with us, the uh, the format of this is uh, two X's and you're out. The low man out of the four gets an X each game. Uh, so far, we've got one X for Snoop and one X for Hitman. Yep. Kind of surprising too. I thought Hitman would just start striking forever but he saw a transition with some different players on the lane that they really don't see a lot so quick is up after the break open the first frame Let's see what happens here yeah it's a better shot but oh, that looked pretty he good. got away with it we'll give him that one yeah it looked a little wide right to you just a touch you know he's got a little hand yeah he's got a little hand Pretty good. Pretty good. You got, yeah. Did you get that a little red? Yeah, the first, the first one I just pushed it too hard. First one pushed too hard. We we're, were wondering yeah, how the brake might have affected everybody. Yep. The brake line is insane for me. Okay. Like I said, left lane's still tight. I see it's gonna push me through it. It's very true. Quick, 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 quick is uh, quick is quite a bit further right than the rest of the yeah, rest of the is. squad here. I bowl here in the house that go like this. I'm gonna drive you all night. Oh, great right. shot by Snoop. I think he I think does Snoop, not want that second X. That's right. I think that break fired him up a little bit. Fire up, Snoop. No, Snoop? they didn't have that much time. Uh, they didn't have that time. Yeah, I don't, maybe. Right. Maybe. I'm not I sure. I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't think so. I heard we That's were up a, to about 76,000. I, I didn't hear that. 76,000 views so far. There's we some seniors that would love to see this, but they don't know anything about technology. So It's, it's a little late for them, too. They might. They might uh, oh, that is true. Yeah. Unless they're getting up for breakfast. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I mean, if you eat dinner at 4, you might be in bed already. Yeah. Hitman with a trip four right there. Gotta he, like kinda, that. he got that one just a touch left, but I, I really think he needs, to start, he needs to start migrating a little bit. Since that left lane is a little tighter. Uh, yeah. But I, I really think he needs to kind of move in and start opening that lane up, just yeah. let it happen. He likes to close his angles, that revolutions he's got. That's crazy if he can do it, but I think he needs to kind of let it happen now. Yeah. Start to get a little breakdown, yeah. especially for him. I think if he moved left and just opened up the lane, he may start getting them closer and closer, left to right lane. It'd be like a two board difference at eight boards. Oh, good shot. Was that a ball change out of uh, the Albino pocket pounder? I cannot say that name. There's no way. <laughs> The albino pocket pounder. The albino pocket pounder. It, it is a pretty good name. Yeah. 
It's rather ap for pro. Yay, PB. Who's down with the APP? Hey. <laughs> Great oh, yeah. shot there by Hitman. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's locked in. I think, I think he made that ball change, settled back in. That first X. Uh, well, one more shot will be three in. We'll give you all a quick update. Right after the shot. Myron's at 57. Myron's Hitman, at 57. 65. Let's see. Do you have a prediction for this game? Who's going to get the X? Oh, it's tough right now. So, you know, Snoop Snoop got our last X, but he sure does seem to be uh, locked in a little bit this game. Yeah. So I think he's uh, he's not going to let him happen this game. Now, those 41 pins are huge when he's throwing a couple of strikes. They are huge. To start off with a three-bagger, uh, he's got to get him got to get him relaxed. You know, he's got to be feeling it right, right. now. With all that That's ice a better shot. Much, much better shot than the other. Ho hum. So who's the oldest out of here? We're who's not that? talking about me. Who's the oldest out of this group? That's an I interesting question. Know. I, I want to say, I want to say, Hitman is probably the oldest, but it's so it's hard to tell. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to interview the guys, see what's up. Quick. Hey, quick. We're just curious who's the oldest. You know, any idea? Uh huh. Yeah. How do y'all feel? How do y'all feel? Oh, he said what Bobby too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Bobby definitely looks the oldest. Is 41? Is Bobby? Let's see what Bobby is. I don't know. I don't think Bobby's over 40. Is he? No? I don't know. Hey, he appears to be more seasoned. I mean, they're, they're a little younger than I am. Well, there it is. <laughs> Quick is the oldest. You wouldn't think you, you wouldn't think that the oldest would be nicknamed Quick, but you know that's just what it is. Well, <laughs> at his age, I've heard stories. I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, oh. back of my hook. Jack it on. Jack it off. Jack it back on, jack it back off. You know, sometimes sometimes you got to mix it up a little bit. That's why you get a hoodie. Old people know to wear the hoodie. Well, I, I have yet to learn that lesson. Maybe maybe I need another year or two. Three. Three. Mighty, Hit man mighty, with a great shot. mighty think, good shot right there. I, I think he made that move left. Let's, uh, let's find out. Hey, Hitman, did you make a move on that one? Oh, we just found out Quick was the oldest one. Right. See, being a senior, do I root for him or do we not root for anybody? Or? Well, I definitely think you should root for him. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, that lane's getting the better. Safe. He throws it too hard to be old, so we know he's not old. Quick? Yeah. All of them. All of them. All of them. Push. Nope. That went in a little bit. So we're about halfway through the third game here at Shenanigans out in Greenville, Texas, at an underground bowling association survival of the fittest match. Where the For the record. That is one of the greatest names in bowling organizations I've heard in a lot of years. I love it. <laughs> the Underground Bowling Association. Underground. <laughs> it, it does give it kind of a, a it fight does. club vibe, I like doesn't it? it? <laughs> I like it. I still think we can turn it into a reality TV show, though. Maybe if so. any Maybe producers so. are out there listening, hey, call me. <laughs> Who do you think we need to get involved in that? Uh, would it just be at the bowling center? Or would the cameras follow the oh, I, I think we need to have like the lock in where they get a place to stay for a week and all that. Yeah. That would be interesting. Because I know, I know like these guys are all teammates. Everybody gets along. Most people get along pretty good, but there's some tempers. There are, there are, are some attitudes. <laughs> there are a few. <laughs> Man, he, he just a lot of people that don't that like one. bowling together or have to sit and, you know, commentate next to each other. Not gonna name names. I'm just. 
I, I have heard that. <laughs> yeah, I think Hitman is determined not not to be out early. Yeah, he's going to yeah. be around for a while. <laughs> Yeah, he got a little flustered the first part of the last match and settled right in, and now he's just striking. And up the lanes are going to break down to him too. They're, he'll start opening. The, That's true. With the speed that really, Rezzi's the got, uh, they're just going to feed right into him. Snoop is the only one I see as they break down is going to struggle with it. He, he just doesn't throw it hard enough. And I'm not sure at a 180 average he's going to know to move far enough left. Could be right. Could be right. Interesting we question will, see. will be, will his, real strong this game. will his quote unquote teammates get him to move and teach a little? Well, in a, or in, in a team environment, or do they just want that? that they or they just want that money? In this survival of the fittest, I believe it's every man for themselves. I haven't seen much coaching going on. <laughs> That's going to get there. Good shot. Oh yeah, covered that with no problem. You might have to put that jacket back on. I may have to put that jacket back on. Jacket Without on, the camera on, on, everybody, uh, Hitman just turned the fan on above us. I think his the top of his head was sweating, and he didn't he didn't want any like you know thing to fall on the approach or anything. So Hitman is definitely getting fired up. <laughs> Need to get a little breeze going. We're, right we're, here for we'll him. ask him if he needs a towel for his head. <laughs> Snoop I'll make sure he's on, on the, the other side of the table when I ask that. Why? You don't want I, him jumping I, over the table? No. Nah. Well, I don't want him beside me. That's, that's easy access. Hey, being the second oldest here, uh, jumping over the table could be a disaster. <laughs> yeah, I'd hate to put him down in front of all these people, too, you know. Well, you know. It could be humiliating for somebody called Hitman. It could be. It yeah. could be. Sometimes you just have to flex. <laughs> <laughs> if I had anything left to flex, I might. <laughs> So yes, we are halfway through the third game. We, we are bowling a survival of the fittest where the low man gets gets an X each game. Tr uh, Hitman and Snoop both have a single X, two X's and you're out. We just had somebody come up, apparently on our live feed about three lanes down, somebody Big one just went down. Oh, somebody stepped across the foul line it, and they did the splits. Oh, that man, is why they hurt. put those little signs there. Do not go beyond this line. Yeah. <laughs> Do not cross the foul line for your safety. For your safety and the humor of others. That's right. Oh, good shot. Oh, yeah. Hit Beautiful. Man is ready. Right off Look the at hand. him riding that one back. Somebody's got, <laughs> that's my little pony. I am seriously biting my tongue over here, y'all. Being the first broadcast after that, I am biting my tongue as hard as I can. <laughs> Yippee Kaye! Yippee Kaye! Yippee Kaye, little fella, little buckaroo. Oh, trips the ten out. We might have changed Hitman's name to Little Buckaroo. <laughs> So, Jacob, the albino pocket pounder, does not have a jersey yet. He, he, is, he is new to Underground Bowling Association. His jersey is on the way. But in case, uh, in case you're wondering, the gentleman without the jersey is the albino pocket pounder. The AKA one Jacob. and only, and I doubt there will be another. You know, I, I, it is original. Yeah, it's original. I, I do not know of another one. I can't say I do either. Yeah. yeah. I know one or two that might resemble one, but I don't think they use that name. Hmm. Well, we'll have to look into that. <laughs> Quick trips to the four, Ben, uh, uh, for the spare. It uh, uh, looks like we've we got a little bit of transition happening for a couple of guys. Um, Deep yeah. breath after the laughter break right there. That's right. Got to have a laughter break. <laughs> Not everything we can put on air. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. But Hitman is comfy. That was an, yeah. that was an okay delivery. I, yes. You know, uh, I've seen better. I, I, I feel like he's sneaking up behind people with that metal wire, right? You see that? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wrap around the throat. Yeah. 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 Uh, there won't be no. 
Won't be no X's on his uh, score sheet here anytime soon. Oh, other than the strikes that he keeps throwing. See? Set up. He is completely open until he throws a back of all, then he twists his feet. Hmm. I have never seen it. It's kind of cool. It is, a, it is an interesting. And uh, yes, I am borderline from, genius for noticing. Well, you know. Just, you know. I can't, I can't disagree. Borderline, borderline genius. We're not going to say which end of the border, but. Well, I don't, I don't know what time it happened, but if you've been watching the whole time, over on lane 12 a little bit ago, as Trey was throwing a shot, a big boy like myself decided he wanted to go over the line and go ice skating. Well, he probably needs to go to the doctor and have his lower section checked because he did the splits. And we ain't built like that. So I hope you all enjoyed that as much as I did, because I just now saw it. <laughs> kind words of concern from so Hitman. <laughs> kind words of concern for the so young gentleman that fell. If we get an update on his doctor visit, we'll, we'll, make, sure to, we'll make sure to inform everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully his genes are OK. We don't want them to split, right? I mean, we Are we talking about change. the pants or the jeans, jeans? Oh, yeah, that's oh, a good yeah. question, yeah, yeah. All right, Jacob the pocket pounder. His future children might have changed nationality with that shot. Oh, yeah. Great shot. Great shot. He's definitely going a little more direct on that lane now. Definitely. Well, anyway, that, that lane's tighter down lane. You either got to uh, hit it hard like the hitman. Or you got to feather a little bit to get it to get it to shape up. All right, Snoop Dogg on the right lane. Great shot. I couldn't hanging see in, He is hanging in there. He is. He's going to be tough to so, beat with those strikes. For the folks at home, just get you an idea. Most of these guys are throwing 16, 17 miles an hour, and Snoop is around 12 and a half to 13. Boy, Hitman is going to be tough right now. I told y'all not to take that break and let him in. I'm just saying. They shouldn't let him have that bathroom break. Shouldn't have. No. Shouldn't have. He, he, he grabbed that pony, and he's been riding it ever since. <laughs> that, that is the one that has the stick on it with the little plastic handle, right? I think so, yeah. 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 We... we I really wish we could edit in like a little uh, cartoon cowboy hat on him when he when he's coming back doing that. Nobody says we can't later. That's true. That's true. We could make some great memes out of that. Facebook, if y'all are listening. Anybody <laughs> with some talent can get a hold of that. <laughs> let's let's get the stick pony and the cartoon cowboy hat and let's yeah, get a Yeah, make sure the cowboy hat's a little bit too small for his head. <laughs> so, like that little was it a little fish or a seahorse had the hat? <laughs> So, for those just tuning in, we are at an underground bowling association survival of the fittest uh, event where the low man each game gets an X, two X's and you're out. The, uh, the team that is bowling is the F-A-A-F-O, which is the F around and find out. Right. We did say that was fun, I believe. I, it's... I think it is fun around and find yeah. out. Uh, uh, so these guys are having fun. They're finding out. Uh, uh, Hitman is up there. He's got a nine spare, but a, what is that, six, seven bagger? Yeah, he, he had missed in a while. Yeah, and okay. this is the third game. Uh, the first two games, we have a strike from Hitman, and we have a strike with Snoop Dogg. That's right. If they, so if they're they get hanging one, off for dear life. They are gone. I'm pretty sure I'm not a mathematician, yeah. but Hitman's probably safe this game. You know, if I was a betting man, I would say he's safe. He's yeah, safe I, this game. Yeah. He's going to be around for at least another game or two. If he keeps striking like that, yeah. it's going to be again, a short I, night for the rest of the guys. Again, I did say I, Snoop is the one I'm worried about because of the lack of ball speed as they're breaking down. I, but he does get 41 a game. That is true. He's, Handicap he's, is 70% of 240. 70% Anybody of interested in joining UBA, handicap is 70% of 240. Like, Ryan, have you ever even shot 240? We're at 90,000 views, we just found out. 90,000. Hey, somebody wake up some seniors. Get them online. That's, that's right. That's right. Uh, uh. 
I probably should right, not be talking crap about seniors since I'm on the senior thing next week. Yeah, they'll take it out on me. I don't need that. Yeah, I, I don't know that they'll recognize you. You haven't been on camera, so unless they recognize oh, your is, voice, that is they, true. It's a good thing we've got the voice changer on for you. They won't recognize you. Yeah, because I, I, I never talk. I mean, I'm quiet. Right. Yeah. You're, you're super quiet, shy guy. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think you'll be fine. Uh, by the way, that oh, is Stephen wait, Keepers, we, we did talk uh, about senior perfection bowler. earlier oh. as a nickname. So they might know. Yeah, only the ladies, right? Uh, only the ladies. So, yeah, a little background on the UBA. You can find undergroundbowling.com. You can look Boom. them up. They started back in 2009 in New York with 16 guys. They now have over 10,000 bowlers, 360 franchises, 400 events a year. Like, I, I honestly, I can't wait to do one of these events. This is awesome. It, it looks like a lot of fun. We need a senior UBA. You need a senior UBA? We need UBA? the old people doing this. Can you call we'll it underground it. bowling if it's seniors? That would be rude. I think that's a little... It's a little, uh, as long as we don't call six feet underground, we're good. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we might have to host it in the morning. <laughs> it, it could be a little late to bowl, bowl seven games. You may have to wake me up seniors. in a little while. <laughs> get my nap in. Don't worry, we'll get you a cup of coffee in. <laughs> All right, we're getting close to wrapping up this third game here. Um, Give us a score rundown. What do you say? Oh. Jacob, the albino pocket pounder, has got a 150 in the eighth. He's going to have a spare up here in the 10th. It's looking like he's uh, behind a little bit. I, I think there's a fair chance he's going to be the one getting the X this round. And for the record, I have Ryan do the scores because every time I say the name, I can't talk anymore for a few <laughs> minutes. I'll just let you all know right now. Uh, it, it is definitely the funnest name to say out of the bunch. <laughs> Out of the bunch. So, so Myron, a.k.a. Quick. Uh, See, that's quick big, to say. That is quick to say. Yeah. Uh, big finish there in the tenth. Uh, ends up with a 2-14. I think, I think that makes him safe uh, from the X. It looks like 2-10 is going to be the number by the albino pocket pounder. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. The albino pocket pounder. Jacob for the fill shot. Turned it around quite a bit, though, from the first part of the game. It looks he like did. he was struggling the first part. I, I think Close. he's going to hold his own the next game pretty well. I think so, too. Looks like he inched it a little bit right, straight up the angles on the left lane. And I, I think that's going to be a big difference for him. Early on, the right lane was the lane that's going to decide it. Now it's going to be the left lane. It's, everybody's yeah. kind of lined up. It's hooking up on the right. Yeah, right, it's broken right, down. right lane is hooking, uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's a good half dozen predict. boards. Yeah. Good half dozen. Right, Bobby the Hitman just is locked in. Yeah. Locked in. It's got to be the high game of the night so far. Yeah. It may take a left-hander beat him now. It might. It might. Do we have? Uh, do we have you? Are you going to bowl left-handed? I'm not bowling. No, he's not bowling. All right. I guess it will be just amongst the F A A F O, the F around and find out group. We'll see how it all pans out. Yeah. Are we allowed to say the actual name, or will we stick with fun? Uh, you know, I, I don't know question. what the rules are. Uh, uh, I don't believe this is. Uh, uh, I don't believe we have any F A A regulations. But, nice. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, the, that is the. Fun the, around and, and find, find out, out. Uh, uh, network that uh, has the regulations. <laughs> <laughs> and it so, does yeah, look like yeah. we're game three of the underground. Yeah, game three is, is It is going up to here. be. And it looks like Jacob, the albino pocket founder, receives the X here. So we, we currently have. Quick. Is the only one without an X. Quick is the only one without an X. He's the only one not quick to get one. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. 290 by Hitman. That's the Hitman. Oh. Make it up a little underground, so to speak. Who's got two thumbs and strikes every shot? You just saw it. The that hitman. guy. <laughs> that guy. That's a really good ball change, though. Like I said, he went to that envy. I think it was just too snappy. He got some over and under. We thought he went back to speed, but it was not. Yeah, ended up going to uh, <laughs> the ball that he's throwing currently and, uh, <laughs> and really has a good look with it. 
Really has a good look with it. Uh, some of the other like guys fought a little transition. And it does look like he moved left on yes. both lanes and let the ball just turn to stop. He's right. not really doing a lot to it now. He's, he's, he's settled comfy. in. He's, they look, he's, he's playing in. him really close now. He's settled in. Here's we're taking a, uh, a small And for the record, um, with handicap, that is a 305. Yeah, you know, a 305 is hard to beat. Now, they did they say. They did decide. They did 300 decide max game. 300 max game. Handicap, cause, right. Because that's only fair. That's the only way it should yeah. be. Yes, you can't shoot more than 300. If we I know a couple people a, might cuss me out for that down the road, but 300 is max you can get. I don't care if it's handicap or scratch. That's that's the way that's the way it was. 12 strikes, 300. That's the best you can get. Right. If you don't get any handicap, you should not be able to be beat if you throw a 12 in a row. Exactly. That's the rule. So what happens when you got a lefty as your ball ref? Oh, see, there was a lefter in the hand. Left-hander left in the house yeah, helped him out. Was involved in that decision. A left-hander right. helped what, line what him up and make a ball decision? No way. What ball was he throwing? I have no idea what he was throwing. Right, right, yeah, right. good ball rep. He doesn't yeah, know what ball, ball it is. Hooks in the mid lane. That's all I call it. <laughs> Some hooks earlier and slow the hell down. We had a left-hander walk <laughs> up, said a left-hander helped him out, ball rep, but doesn't know anything. Shocker. We are glad you helped. Any left-handers out there, the hate mail can go to Ryan Boroff. <laughs> all right, quick. So we, starting off quick. Quick did start off quick. Hey, for those of y'all just joining, we are at Shenanigans in Greenville. Anybody want to do it? He finishes quick too. I'm not doing that joke. If you want to, go I, ahead. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. What do you think? What? He has a, He has something about you finishing quick. Uh, there's a joke there. He, he as long as they don't take a break again, we can finish quick. As long as they don't take a break again, we can finish quick. See, that man focused. From, he stuck, with, words he of stuck quick himself. with bowling. He did. Did not marry. No. That is a focused individual. Very focused. Snoop throwing down a strike right there, too. Graffiti Pearl, by the way. Say that again? Graffiti Pearl. Graffiti Pearl, Graffiti Pearl, by, Pearl swag. by swag. That's yeah. what quick is throwing. Hitman, and still that, is that is a Vera Papa. That is a Vera Papa. Shout out to Andy Vera Papa, Vera Papa 300. Yeah. Is there, uh, do you think he'll, uh, do you think you can tag him in a post? Do you think anybody, <laughs> if he gets it, I tell you what, if he answers, <laughs> look out. Look out. Internet <laughs> ablaze. Uh, that would be great. That'd be something to see. Anybody with enough tricks in his hand could do it, though. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Any person can make the ball hook two different directions on the same shot, <laughs> might come back from the dead and ride it back. That would be that would be something to see. I just wonder how many of our viewers out there are trying to make a fake account right now and <laughs> post to us, because that would be awesome. <laughs> Ooh, that that left lane yeah. is, is still tricky down lane. You get you, you don't he, get that ball rolling. He got his thumb out a little bit late. He did, and fired it. It was you a little see, quick, I would say. Yeah, there's there's probably a good 50 res less than his normal shot. Oh, wow. I mean, it, he really did. He got out of that late. He's a pretty good spare shooter, though. It wouldn't surprise me to see him running this down. It would not surprise me either. So we are at the Underground and Bowling Association Survival of the Fittest Match. Ooh, that was close. With Team FAAFO, fun around and find out bowling head-to-head -head matches. We're well, pretty sure fun point. is not the correct term, but you know, for our purposes today. Yes. Uh, the low man each game gets an X, two X's in your out. Quick is the only gentleman that does not have an X. Oh, that's the first time uh, we've seen him get less than a strike. Yep. And at least 12 shots. Yep, 12 shots <laughs> on the nose. We know he can strike now, can he spare? It's been a while. Yeah. It has been a while. I, it, I would be worried about that if I threw that many strikes, but that'll never happen again, so. <laughs> Easy spare, no problem, knocked it down. Shot hit, man. Are you gonna move or just kind of grab that? Um, actually, I'm planning, uh, and this has been the plan the whole time, is to kind of burn the mid lanes up, get the back end a little toasty, and then I'm going to go to a low diff, low RG ball to where I can kind of control my hook a little bit better. Uh, with my speeds, I'm able to push past the mid lane. And I've thrown this ball periodically through the first couple of games, and it never read. So that's telling me it's about ready to 
be the ball for at least the next two games. And then I'll go into probably the MV Tour Pearl and get really, really deep with that, throw it to the friction and let it breathe. Sounds good. I think he's got a plan. Kind of sounds like what I was talking about earlier as far as getting left, open up the lane on both sides, and it's going to play really similar. So but he, he, but he he's doing a good job setting up the lane to do that. But yes. Yeah, I think, I think his plan is working out very well. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, he does have the ball speed uh, and the revs to, uh, to, to just muscle through the mid lane. So when he says low RG, low diff, well, these, uh, well, what we need here is a uh, honestly, uh, it tells uh, you a physics expert to, to yeah, really uh, uh, it really tells you down for us. these guys are a lot more intelligent. The bowlers know their equipment, they know what the balls do when they're throwing them and what they're going to. There, there are some really amount, uh, amazing, talented players out there, but they have to be smart about what they're doing. Gotta be. Out of Not only do you need to watch what the lanes, how the lanes break down, but you've got to know what balls you have in your bag to switch to it. Ball movement, it's not how the pins fall, make the moves off of that, make the decision. It's, there's a lot more to now bowling than old bowling. I, I say it's easier agreed. now. Science has taken over everything. Yeah, it is a different game than it was. I can't say easier or harder because it's a different game. Yeah, totally different. Knowledge is really, really important. And a lot of these guys have access to so much information, especially these young bowlers coming out. You'll notice Very they true. have access. They got their game set up ahead of time. Uh, older, they had to go out, figure it out, hopefully make a friend that might help them. Back in the day, the bowlers didn't help each other as much because you're taking money out of their pocket. Why would they help you? Now, now you can search for most anything you want on YouTube right. and get, gather all the information you ever yeah. wanted. And they can study and they can understand ball motion and layouts. Uh, low RG, high RG, you know, this and everything, and then understand it walking into the center instead of learning as they go. I, I feel like I need a translator for the stuff you just said. Or pizza. We still haven't got anybody to buy we the pizza. I can't believe that. We still have not gotten right? the pizza. Uh, we, need, we need to get back to quick, see if that tab is open. So Jacob, the uh, albino pocket pounder, look, going through a little bit of transition. I saw him grab a different bowling ball. Yep. Looks like it hooked up on him just a little bit. Looks like Quick's making a ball change, too. Trying to stay in the zone and trying to stay right of everybody. He, he did it. say he wants to stay away from the rest of the field. And he is the only one in that zone. Got a score change happening there. Did we get it? It's. Was that a six? Oh, we chopped, chopped the bucket right chopped there. Chopped the bucket. Ah, he's happy with the ball. Yeah. I think he's probably just going to move maybe, you know, two boards right on that lane. And where he's standing on the other lane would probably be right with that ball because it hooks so much more. Boy, they're really starting to break down now. I really think it's time for him to actually start migrating left and really get get into it. And you know what? Uh, what was a little contradictory to what, what we were first predicting. Uh, we've got Snoop here with the front three as they're breaking down with a slower ball speed. Yeah, that's true. Look at that. He looks locked in. Yeah, he's moving left. I didn't really see him moving that far. God. So he looks so comfortable Snoop, doing it. Uh, well, what did you change from last game to this game? Looks like you might have made a ball change. Yeah, I went to the goal label on this one. I just moved a little bit left and just playing more middle, not getting it out past 15. So looking it's really good. good. Yeah, looking, up for me. yeah, looking good. Again, knowing his equipment. Mm -hmm. Knowing his equipment is so That's important. It. But he looked really comfortable making the move. I'm, yeah. I really figure with the small, slower ball speed, he may not have been really easy going, just moving left, but I, that looked I, natural. In, in my head, I think uh, the urethane ball, the Zen U that he was throwing earlier, would would, uh, would would be easier, but he switched to the gold label because it gets a little further down lane. I guess the Zen U reads a little sooner, and, huh? Yeah, it's got a little pop down lane, too. Huh? It's going to turn over and carry. Zen U is going to, as he gets left, is really going to start slowing down and not getting the 10 out. He'll flat 10 a lot more. That right, gold level looks pretty good. Let's see what uh, Jacob, the albino pocket pounder, with the X. 
with he, the X he on really the left has lane. straightened out that lane a lot. Definitely figured out the left lane. See if he can, he can uh, answer back here on the right lane. Uh, little transition. Lanes are changing quick. Snoop on the right lane with the gold label. Oh, got that one out and a little bit. And almost Ooh. got a big, big, big almost break. Almost got a huge break. That could have been horrible. Hitman with the ball change. Yep. And that's that the ball he said really he good. wanted to go to would be the ball for the next couple of games. So I think you're going to see him stay with that hey, man, and just start moving left. Is that that ball left. you were talking about? Uh, well, the frame before I moved, but the fronts are really burnt. So that told me that, I mean, it's going to pick up on any friction. So it's just time to go ahead and get it deep and play as much oil as I can. All right. It looked really good. Yeah, thank you. It looked really good. And he did look, he moved a little bit, but he tugged it. Safe. Yep. Safe with the Brooklyn strike. Why do they call that a Brooklyn strike? Hey, we got a guy here from Brooklyn, I think, don't we? We should ask him. I think we do. Uh, we should ask him. Maybe he can hear us. I think because where <laughs> you're standing, isn't Brooklyn left of like New York City? Maybe. Is that what it is? Maybe. Or that come from Jersey, it's left of Jersey, I don't know. Maybe they should call it a Jersey strike. It's north. North. <laughs> All right, quick rundown right now. We've got a uh, we've got Snoop with a uh, dominant lead going into the sixth frame here. Uh, Jacob, the albino pocket pounder, oh, uh, coming in second. Light shaker, nice. Snoop with the light shaker. Got to like that. Quick, quick is in a little bit of a transition, getting it figured out. He's got a double going now, though. Uh, looking to close the gap. Bobby the same, switch ball. Yeah, now he's got a double, looking to close the gap. Hitman, I think, is in a strike for a little while now. Yeah, yeah that, ball looks, that ball looks like it shapes a whole lot better. If he misses it, if he misses bottom, he might flat 10 at worst, I think. I don't, yeah. I really don't see anything bad. That, that other one just looked like it was reading about five or six feet too soon, you know? Yeah. Uh, it, it, even no matter the how albino hard it, pocket pounder. <laughs> no pocket pounder. He got that one right. He yeah. got that right early. He got it out of the oil and grabbed. Well, he got he, half of them. He even just set it right off his hand. But that, that was only, earlier. He was a little bit more left and catching too much oil. So he moved right, straightened it out. But if you get it right, it's that's your that's your mistake right there. You can't have that. Yeah, I, I didn't make it much. Very, if you're gonna very miss, you gotta miss left. Before yeah. red. Square up like that. You gotta miss left if you're gonna miss. Almost. <laughs> We're being told that we should put the stream on one of our phones so we can see the uh, comments. I guess they're they're pretty oh, entertaining. Uh, we'll have to do that. Uh, <laughs> Forgive us, everyone. We have not done that. We've just been uh, commentating here, but we are, we are pulling that up now uh, so we can see some of y'all's comments and comment back. <laughs> All right, so I've got, I've got a couple different reports about uh, seeing the comments. I got a snap from Sean Lavery, but didn't say anything. Snapping the UBA. <laughs> All right, so Hitman up on the left lane. With that ball change. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good you, ball change. You can see right at the end, he had a little exhale. That's a relief that he knows he's in the right ball now. Yeah. Yeah, he's settling back in nice. The surprising Snoop. Is he going to keep up? I think he will right here. He's he's really yeah, locked he, in. He dialed that he, right he, to the number. He made that ball change and is is making it happen. Look at that. Locked in. That's a great Pumped shot. Up. I'm really impressed. There's no way I could take my thumb out and not just have two fingers and make any kind of shot right. and make it consistent. Uh, I couldn't either. I feel like... I feel Speaking like with, of consistent. With, with all the weight of the bling that he has, I don't even know if I can stand up. Speaking of consistent, quick just threw another Brooklyn on left lane. Why move? 
You know, when they're falling, they're falling, you know? You don't change until it stops carrying. That's right. I think that's a rule. <laughs> oh, I've just been corrected here. The uh, team name is the F-A-A-F-O Mafia. So I've, oh, yeah, I've been shorting forget, the name. You forget it's the, the Mafia. It's the Fun Around and Find Out Mafia. I've been skipping we, out on the Mafia We really part. need to find uh, out. Is, uh, do we have to say fun? Yeah. Do we have can to we say, fun say or the can actual we say word? that actual word? Oh, it's open. Uh oh, oh uh -oh. We, can, we can drop the F-bomb and find out. Wait a minute. Is that right? <laughs> We're going to run with it. Uh, so, yes, Mafia. Uh, uh, That's got to push a little, and it does. Apparently, these guys are into organized crime. It might be underground bowling. It's hard to say. That's what it says on the jersey. No, it does say that on the jersey. Speaking of which, if you go to undergroundbowling.com, you can find out more about the 400 national, nationwide events that they have for a year. And, oh, he's uh, walking it out. And the 10,000 bowlers they've currently got with the 360 franchise. Hey, we need as one of those links where they get like, you know, 10% off or using our name link thing. We do. We, we need one of those. Yeah, we do need one of those. I, yeah, I, think, not, I think we'll have to get that set up for I, the I next I believe the event. man in charging will look over at, at that comment. And he's like, no, no you're not, you're not getting, no. <laughs> not, not, not today, anyway. Apparently the comments are hilarious. We have still not downloaded this on any one of our phones, so y'all will have to save the comments for us. Uh, feel free to message us. Uh, uh, that's a that was interesting. Uh, all right, looks like Jacob the albino pocket pounder is is in the middle of transition. He's figuring some stuff out here. Quick for the quick spare of the seven pin. Super quick. Looking for a ball change. Pretty tight game between Quick and the uh, pocket pounder here. Let's see if I can pull one of these up. <laughs> uh, I've been told to drop the F bomb for the fans or. Or, or fudge for Marshall. So maybe it's fudge around and find out, uh, Mafia. Uh, it's, not it's not fudge. fudge. I'm, being, I'm being told it's not fudge. It's, it's, it's not you. fudge. It's, it's not fudge. It's you around and find out. Oh, it's not if you around either. Oh, that is a horrible we're, we're, break. We're, we're going to get this right. Uh, we'll get some clarification on this that here. That tipped over. He strikes. He doesn't. He splits. Eight. Four seven. Should be a four seven. Okay, we got to get four, a seven. pin respotted here. Uh, oh, we got the mechanic running back now. Got it. Perfect. They run so, down, and get it as a pin spot, respot the four seven for Snoop. Lucky so that Marshall, wasn't the eight. Fudge around and find out Mafia. There you have it. I have dropped. Oh come on, the say official it. Chocolate bomb. Say it. <laughs> Quit fudging it. Say it. Quit fudging around, man. Uh, we're just having a good time here. I'm thinking fun around and find out is the way to go. Yeah, you know. It, we could have said fool. Fool around. Fool around, around find you know, out. I, I, I think we're finding out all sorts of stuff here. You know, if it's F-A-A-F-O, we really get to come up with our own names for the letters, right? Isn't that the way it should go? Oh, don't give me that. Oh, I think <laughs> I think the door is open. Let's see, let's see what you got. Uh, small break here while we get a pin respotted. It does look like Snoop is in uh, is in I well we, in control of this. Uh, I think we ought to go uh, fool game. around and find out. I mean, look at him. Do you do you see one person there that is not a fool? Well, I, I think I see a lot of people that uh, like to fool around. We 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 just had a glare from Quick <laughs> and a comment that you know we'll just leave that alone. Man is locked in. Man is locked in. Definitely close the gap here. I think. I think. Uh, I think Myron is at risk here. Uh, quick. Quick is at, at risk of getting his first X here. He, uh, he's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna get yeah, a quick, tenth. Quick and, uh, strike out. Have a chance here to 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 save himself from an X. He's the last one without an X. He is the last one. That would be an quite X. interesting because next game somebody's out. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. If quick. If quick is not able to save himself from getting an X here. 
next game we will have someone eliminated. Oh, oh that's a huge break. Man, that's Two Brooklyns break. and in the face carries on the left leg. Big break. <laughs> he said fudge around and find out. That's what he said. I heard it. That's it's what only, he said. There's only a four pin difference to get that, that X or not getting that X. That is true. That is true. And if the, the albino, X does go to the albino pocket pounder, he is out. That will, that will yeah. be his final game. Here we go. First shot and a 10. Ooh, Ooh, puts it in and there. Really, the lanes are finally coming to him. He made that one Aaron shot that could cost him, but it, it's breaking down to him. I do have to say this, Ryan. We have a correction. It's fuck around and find out on the field. Oh, so we have been corrected. It is fuck around and find out. The more you fuck around, the more you find out. The more you fun around, the more you find out. <laughs> <laughs> nor Ryan, Ryan, nor I uh, ever use foul language. Yes, that, that, when we're not bowling. So that's right. Uh, uh, as we're on the mic, it's just not the family thing that we're looking for here. We, oh. Family around, around and find, find out. out. It's family well. around and find out. Hey, we're having a great time. <laughs> I, I'm not sure family around and find out mafia is a. Uh, that is true. Get that. A, big finish for yeah, a big great finish, finish for quick in the tenth. The last shot on the left lane he threw was the best shot he threw in the 10th in the left lane. Does does that save him? That's a, I don't think so. Uh, we now oh, have all four bowlers finish. with an X. All four bowlers with an X. Oh, man. Next game, next game, next game is going to be some be pressure. That's right. Next game is pressure. So but for those just tuning in, we are at Shenanigans in Greenville on $2 beer and taco Tuesday nights from 4 p.m. to close at an underground bowling association event. Survival of the fittest. That is Greenville, Texas. That is Greenville, Texas. Survival of the fittest, low man each game gets an X, two X's and you're out. Right now we're just finishing up game four. Every man has got one X. It is team F-A-A-F-O. Fun around and find out Mafia bowling head to head against one another in the, in the first event of its kind here in Texas. I think you have to go to caffeine.tv to, uh, to, to find this. It is an app. We're still working on getting it downloaded on our phones. Uh, I say that I'm not working on it at all. But <laughs> Stephen is. <laughs> so I, I keep getting corrected. I, I really think they're wanting me to say fuck around and find out. That's, I, I don't think you should, though. I don't think I should, though. No? Okay. I really don't think I should. Uh, mafia. Uh, mafia. Look at that spare of the bucket. So the Fafo <laughs> ma uh, Mafia. <laughs> the, that one was for Tony. I did drop it for you. Might be the only time. But that is their team name. Which Tony? That one. Oh, that's right. We're not really using last names, are we? That's, that's right. right. We're using first names and nicknames. So uh, I don't know if that's an underground bowling association rule. Hey, I think you used my last name. I did, but only so the old people could find you. Oh, uh, that was they're in bed. Right. They ain't looking. Yeah. So maybe I'm doing them a disservice by not saying their name right. So. It is the fuck around and find out mafia. That is the team name. That will probably be the last time I drop the F bomb. <laughs> I'll see if I can. Uh, we'll see. Get this online. We'll read some of y'all's comments. Okay. All right. So this will be the last match since everybody has an X. We're going to do one more game and the winner will take all. So winner take all. So they are bowling for $50 a man and a Storm bowling ball of their choice. Storm is the uh, official sponsor of the Underground Bowling Association. We are at shenanigans here in Greenville, Texas. The Fuck around and find out, Mafia. Bowling one more game. Winner take all after this short break. 
Now, all four bowlers with the strike. The next strike is out. Yeah, they will keep going until you have uh, the other three bowlers, whoever they are. The two strikes are out, and then we'll have our winner. The winner gets a storm bowling ball of their choice, and whatever the pot is up there. And we're on another break. Anybody that's going to face them later. Is bowling head to head with one another. Low man each game has gotten an X. Every man has gotten an X, so they're bowling one more. So we are back at Shenanigans in Greenville at the Underground Bowling Association's Survival of the Fittest event. Uh, low man each game gets an X. Uh, we are at uh, the Fuck Around and Find Out Mafia. Uh, as bowling head to head against one another for $50 a man and the Storm bowling ball of their choice. Storm is the official sponsor of Underground Bowling. Uh, if you go to under, undergroundbowling.com, you can check out uh, their 400 events that they have per year nationwide. Uh, right now, we are in game four. Each of these guys has had an X, so they've each been the low man one time. They've made the decision to bowl one more game, winner take all. $50 a man, storm bowling ball of their choice. Handicaps are added in. We have got Snoop Dogg up on the lane. He switched balls last game, dominated last game with a, with a Zen gold label. Uh, little high, a little high with a split there. Uh, Quick and the Albino Pocket Pounder both started out with an X. Uh, Hitman with a 10 pin. Easy spare. Hi. Fellow commentator Steven uh, should be back any minute. Oh, made a good run at that spare. Looks like Brad is stepping in as commentator. We'll try this out for a minute, see how bad I am <laughs> at it. All right, we got quick up here. Oh, again, another six, seven, ten. <laughs> Oh, starting to break down a split. little bit. You know, that, that right lane has been has been hooking for the right enders almost all night. So always does in this house for the righties. Always does in this house. Lefties is a little backwards. 15 is always about five more boards different, but and then 15, a little tight down lane. Oh yeah. If you don't get that one shaping just right, you come in light just like the albino pocket pounder did right there. Leaving the 2-4. Good old 2-4. Could have been a 210. Could have been a 210. Probably should have been a 210. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty clean pickup. Pretty clean pickup. No problem for the pocket yeah. pounder there. It wasn't the pocket, but he pounded it. He did pound it. <laughs> I, I wonder if he has pink eyes. Being the albino pocket pounder, you would think he would have pink eyes. Is that a thing? No comment. No comment. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop on the right lane. Gets it out there. Oh, Ooh, little there's line. The there's two, the there's the two turn. Yep. About. There it is. Oddly enough, on the lane that hooks a little bit more. So yes. overcompensated a little there. But Hitman. Hitman. Oh, still Back can't get that 10 out. <laughs> I, I've been, uh, I, I just got a message that says, I say fuck so naturally, maybe I just need to say it. The fuck around and find out mafia. I mean, it, it rolls off the tongue pretty well for you, Ryan. It, it, I'm not gonna it does. Lie. And I've, it's oh, do possible. you have a nickname? I know we're not supposed to say real names, apparently. I so. don't think I do have a nickname. Well, you need a nickname. I do need a nickname. So uh, I, I cannot see the comments. If you guys have a nickname for me other than Kermit, uh, uh, feel free to throw one out there. Oh, I got you. <laughs> Hang on. Let me, let me pull my phone out real quick. Oh. Bradley, as a uh, guest commentator, uh, uh, while Steven was we away. Were, we were commenting. No, we're trying to come uh, up with a new nickname for Mr. Boroff over here. Because we, we, like we got his nicknames, right? We were <laughs> What's your nickname? We were saying stuff, and I looked at him. Like, I know. We were. Is that what's happening right now? You got full talks. They use your last name. I'm a competitive gamer, and I would love to be behind that scene and be behind the mic and look at stuff a certain way and 
I don't know. And be able to narrate what's going All on. All I can think of is Superstar. I think it should be boring more often. Thought process being able to ball 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 let people know ball what's going on. That is true. He does I, effortlessly I do strike for days. I find myself commentating on a lot of different things. Oh, we Bobby just finally gets a corner <laughs> pin out. We just had the pizza show up. See what we were talking about. <laughs> All right. Hitman with an X. What would you do to get the tit oh. pin out, Hitman? Steve's got uh, some food now, so he's happy. Down, like a frog's hair's ass, or a hair on a frog's ass, I guess you would say. Uh, do those go pretty slow normally? Well, they're thin. They're thin, OK. <laughs> they are. They had to slow it down just a little bit. <laughs> I just got behind the head pin twice. Too much angle. Get a little excited, maybe? No, uh, I think I was just trying to get comfortable and make sure that I was going to have it come back enough. OK. Uh, and just got too much of an angle behind the head pin. Grabbed it twice. Last one looked really good. Quick answering back with a strike. Big spare here for Snoop. With the backup. Oh, and the oh. ball just ro rolled out. You know, I'm not a fan of that move. I the, the backup, backup ball, ball with the, the corner bins, I hate it. It's huh. it's no. a pet peeve of mine. You, you, you use the tools you got. Some people are able to throw it straight. Some people have to get creative when they go after spares. Uh, it has worked out for him a little bit. Yeah. True. Not on that particular shot, though. I also have a thumb in the ball, and I can't throw a backup ball, so that's a problem. Well, maybe, maybe Steven will teach you. He already throws the ball better left-handed than I do, so I can't do anything about that. He embarrasses me every time I bowl with him. He throws my own equipment and makes me look silly, so. He's a sweet guy like that. I know, I love him to death. <laughs> All right, so quick score update here. We have got Jacob the Pocket Pounder uh, taking an uh, early lead here. Uh, quick, uh, right behind him with a 74. And Snoop in trouble. And Snoop is in trouble. Snoop is in trouble. Hitman uh, goes 10 pin, 10 pin, slowed it down. He set a frog's hair, uh, uh, which is thin. It seemed to work the last two shots. He's got a double now. Now that one was a lot better than the last three by a mile. Yeah. Great shot. Thank you. He gets there if he just relaxes. Once the sweat, you know, he's not sweating all over his head and Wait. calms down a little bit, he throws a pretty Wait. good shot. <laughs> We, we did we did want to offer him a towel earlier, but but Stephen Stephen was concerned he might jump over the table at him, uh, so we did not offer him that towel. He did need one game one for sure. He was a little quick sweaty. with another X. Quick, what did you what did what have you done different this game? Switch balls, switch to the bloody ocean by swag. Bloody ocean by swag. You heard it here first. All right, the albino pocket pounder up on the right lane. Still in the lead. Oh, trips the 10, slaps it off. Dirty, dirty, dirty. <laughs> Very dirty. This is turning out to be quite the match here. I mean, the winner takes all up on the board, and people start to get a little bit excited. It's amazing how the, how, how the focus changes. Oh, well, definitely. Well, once you realize, oh, this is the last game. Snoop is just struggling to find a rhythm. He is struggling to find a rhythm. He was so locked in last game. Now they're breaking down a little bit more on him. And I think uh, I think that ball speed is finally finally getting the better of him. Definitely. The break hurt him. The break definitely hurt him. Ah, uh, yeah. Those little breaks will kill you. Get that hitman with the strike. No, no antics. He 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 put the pony away. For now, For it now. might come out. It might come out again. We'll see. All right, easy spare for Snoop. I think he's saving it because he knows he's not. Well, he's still six behind the albino pocket pounder over there. But That's right. Isn't that a fun name to say? <laughs> it is a mouthful for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I got to think about it every time mouthful. I see it. All right, quick with the strike. Answers there back. Keeping it close. We've got a pretty tight match here between the three. A lot of second frame misses. Snoop Dogg looking to find something here. Close the gap a little bit. Oh, Albino Pocket Pounder on the left lane. 
A little tighter down lane. We've been talking about that all night. Yeah, it'll happen. Unfortunately, especially when you're that far up the back of it, it is a tough move. It's a tough move. Right? Uh, didn't quite get there. A lot of guys, you see them get it out a little right, and it reads a little early. But with the way his tilt is, it just kind of sails down lane. Oh. oh gets this trip of the seven pin. <laughs> That's seven. what he was looking wow. for. Wow. <laughs> Praying for a break, he got one finally. Needed it. Clean spare from the Albino. What do you see? It looks like you're locked in on the. Uh... Yeah, he that brought a smile to his face. We know that. <laughs> his bling shined a little light. A little, a little, a, a little more shine. <laughs> Hit man up on the left lane, keeping it close. That's not bad. Oh, oh yeah. He... Trips the seven tips. <laughs> what more and, could you and, ask for? And that's what we'll give you when you apply revolutions to a bowling ball. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist that. I'm just saying. I mean, the power is undeniable at times. When he gets it there, it's hard to deny. So for those just joining us, we are at the Underground Bowling Association Survival of the Fittest. We are in the last game of the match with the, uh, between the Fuck Around and Find Out Mafia team bowling head-to-head -head for $50 a man and a storm ball of their choice. We are about halfway into the last game. Um, right now, it's pretty tight, pretty tight. We have got Quick uh, in the lead with 164. We have got Jacob, the albino pocket pounder, up on the right lane with an X. Uh, we have got Bobby the Hitman coming up on the right lane. I believe uh, I believe the match between him and Quick is pretty tight. Pretty tight amongst the three. Snoop Dogg up on the left lane here. Uh, found something a little bit last frame. Got, got a trip on the seven pin. Let's see if he can build on that. Ooh, and another soft another trip seven. On another soft. Just can't get the ball back there. Finally got to stop hooking through the face and can't get it back to the pocket, unfortunately. But I think Bobby, or sorry, the Hitman here. Bobby the Hitman. Yes. Bobby the Hitman. Let's see if strikes we get a here, gets him up plus one. 10. It's not bad. Oh, Ooh, he liked it. Got a fist pump out of it. I mean, hits that good, you can't complain. Yes, yeah. It's one of those off your hand you know. And for any of those interested out there, if you guys want to join a team or start a team, go to undergroundbowling.com. And there is a Facebook page, UBA Texas. If you guys want to get together, get a team together, uh, somebody that has a lot of money wants to back me and is not afraid to lose it. <laughs> but yeah, go check it out. This is going to be amazing. I, I believe the UBA is fairly new in Texas. There's just a it, few franchises. Yeah, uh, this is the very first one in Dallas going right here. Very first stream. Uh, nope. I think it's the very first event that's head to head amongst the same members of the same team. Yes. Yeah. Pretty exciting. If that looks like something you want to be a part of, definitely check that out. Undergroundbowling.com. No other reason than a cool jersey. No other reason the cool jersey is worth it, you know. Agreed. Agreed. And the chance of winning the Storm Bowling Ball. That's pretty cool, too. They are the official sponsor. Yeah. Uh, Jacob, Jacob the Albino Pocket Pounder is pretty new to uh, the Underground Bowling Association. He, his jersey's on the way. Uh, All right, Snoop left a 10 pin. He was seven pin, trip seven, leaves the seven, then leaves the 10. The albino pocket pounder with the spare. Uh, two shots in a row on that left lane. We're, we're, we are on the app now looking, and we are not seeing comments. Maybe, maybe we're not looking in the right spot. I'm still gonna call you calling me out 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Snoop with the spare, still a really tight game here. Uh, Bobby the Hitman and Quick 
both striking at will here. That's a pretty big shot right here for him. This will lock him in if he strikes. And hold up. We might find out why they call him Hitman here in just a minute. Just a minute. <laughs> Deep breath and start again. Not sure what happened. Something distracted him, though. See if he regroups here. Yes, oh, sir. Regroups. Great, Those are good shots. Great shot. shot after all that distraction. Now, quick scoring update. We have got Bobby the Hitman at 204. Myron, a.k.a. Quick, at 194. We've got Jacob the Albino Pocket Pounder at 188. And we've got Snoop at 154. And that is He's, after eight frames. That is after eight frames. Quick oh. answers back with another strike. Great shot there by Quick. <laughs> I wish I could throw the ball that hard, you know what I'm saying? I can't even shoot 710s throwing the ball that hard anymore. I'm left-handed and I can't hit the pocket on the left side that hard. That That is his third high flush Brooklyn. And he had one in the face Brooklyn that carried you know, on that some, lane. Sometimes I, I hear that you have to read the rack, you know, and uh, uh, you, you just got to throw it where you need to to strike, you know? Yeah, you, you see golfers, they'll pick up the grass and throw it in the air. Sometimes yeah, you yeah. just got to, yeah. yeah, yeah. You get a different read, right? And they did turn the fan on earlier. They might have caused a breeze. They yeah. did. They did. It could have. Yeah. Oh, there oh, it great is. Great shot by Snoop. He's trying to hang in there. He is trying to hang in there. Found him a, found him a strike there. The albino pocket pounder. Is that a five pin, Stephen? I didn't see any hands up in the air, but I believe it was. I believe it was. Well, You don't typically see those from a pounding of the pocket. Not normally. Not normally. There has been a lot of pounding of the pocket on that end of the spectrum. When you leave five pins? Right lane hitman's well up against the ball return now. Yes, he is. Yeah, he walked oh, yes. out. He, knew he was off his feeling hand. it. Off his hand, he had two steps to the left. why they call him the hitman. He told us earlier, he says when he's when he's bowling head to head, he is a hitman. He likes to attack. Pretty I think the last match. time I threw the ball and came off my hand, I knew it was in the hole. I was throwing it in the bag. But did did you run confident. it out? Did you take two steps to the left? I did. I tripped over bit? another bag. Oh, man, uh, that's got to be bad. Uh, is your hip oh, okay? That one. He got that left. <laughs> Right in the face. All right, they did get that one left a little bit. He really, he's got to make this fair. All right, looks like it. Ooh. Another Quick high flush down. Brooklyn. High flush Brooklyn. <laughs> is that five or six? I don't approve of that comment at all. High flush Brooklyn is not a thing. Just uh, saying. Wow. It, it looked pretty offense, high flush to me. It, I take yeah. offense that as a lefty who takes advantage of Brooklyn shots. That is offensive. Big cover there. Big cover there for Jacob. All right, looks like it is coming down to Myron, a.k.a. Quick. Throws the first one in the 10th. And Snoop Let's will see. definitely have to double in the 10th to have a chance. Leaves the 10 pin. He is definitely safe, though. He is safe? Definitely safe. He's not getting a strike here. Oh well, wow. you you were you were missing from the first part of this conversation. They decided to one game, winner take all. This game, yes. Wow. You, you missed part. No, of that. I did not. See yeah. That. So, so Trying this to get game is uh, winner winner take all uh, uh, for the fifty dollars a man and the storm bowling ball. So this is it. This man. is our last game. Oh, and he oh, whipped it. Quick misses it. All right. Bobby the Hitman I, has, he has, has, his has shot. the match he in his head. Yeah, it's over. 254, very respectable game. Without a spare, even. That's impressive. And rolls And it. rolls the 10 pin. I believe that's for the win, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that is for the win. He what carries is, that shot. He, he should a, cover a tab. I'm just saying. Yeah, he should. 
And he's a nine count here to take but the he does have that. He does have that new baby, so we'll, we'll cut him slack. Fair enough. Fair enough. And, and we did get pizza. Yeah, we did get pizza. We did Thank get you. Pizza. Who brought us a pizza? Yes. They brought it over and said that's for us. And and thank so, you to Greenville. Yes. Shenanigans, you guys have been great. We do appreciate this. It has been a fun event. We want to thank Shenanigans. We want to thank Underground Bowling Association. We want to thank the Fuck Around and Find Out Mafia. Yeah. For, for, for coming here, bowling head to head. It has been it has been a good time. That was Bobby beautiful. the Hitman. The assassin. Yeah. And plus he gets locked in. He's just hard to beat. I mean, you got two really, really good anchors right there with he and Quick, depending on how the lanes are going to play when they move forward, bowling team events against people. Yes. Will be really, will be really fun to watch. As long as you're not on the other team. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. That, that may not be that fun, man. If, if you're looking to start a team, looking to be part of the Underground Bowling uh, Association, check out undergroundbowling.com. Um, franchise is just starting up in Texas. Now we know why. Now we know why he has that baby. Ah, yes, we did see the thrust. Yeah, we didn't. We could have gone the rest of the night without seeing he, that. He, he did put the pony away, though. Yes, he did. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> we, we want to thank everybody for joining us. Bobby, the hitman, is the winner. How does it feel? Well, I shot 800 last night, and I just shot 800 on the back three. So, I mean, to do that and win in the home center, like, I literally chalked it up for a loss game, too. Like, I, <laughs> I was done in the fourth frame of game two. You, you caught that disappointing ex game one, started off rough game two, you yeah. counted yourself out. Uh, that was insane. Uh, <laughs> I, I've shot multiple honor scores over the past year. I've shot a house record, and I was more nervous about the first ball in the 10th and the second frame than I have been in any one of those. And I, you know, it's not even that much. It's just the fact of the matter is people are watching and I'm way better than what I was showing. So I hope the, what, I don't know, what is that, 810, 820? I hope it was worth it for UBA. This is the first ever match of this kind. I hope there's more of them. Uh, we should be able to bet friendly between us and not walk away with, you know, a shitty head. So I, I encourage it. Uh, all the boys up in the Northeast, we're ready down here. So whenever y'all are ready, let's, let's book something. Let's make a trip. Uh, I'll say it again. All the boys in the Northeast, we ready. Fuck around and find out Mafia, ladies and gentlemen. Can't here, wait to see this happen, too. Bowling Association's first event of its kind, survival of the fittest, Bobby the Hitman, the winner.